Well, hello, I'm Anna. So, you'd like to know how to draw a butterfly, huh? They had lots of fun. In fact, we're going to draw two. I hope you know your shapes. Okay, because what we're going to use, ovals and triangles. That's pretty much it. And some really nice patterns. So why don't we get started? Okay, we know that butterflies like to hang out where there are shrubs or flowers. So there's the earth, and, or the grass, I should say. And here we have some long grass, like so. So I just use lines and ziggity zags. Okay? All right, now, our first butterfly is going to be in flight. So, I would like for you to take a long, skinny oval like that. Okay? Kind of looks like a bug. And actually, they are bugs. <laughs> okay, and then color it in. Second thing we're going to do is make a triangle. Now wait till you see how this works. Okay, two triangles about the same size. So, once again, I love my board because I can erase it. All right, making that a little bigger. And there's one shape that's not on the chart that I'm going to use, and that is a teardrop shape. So I'm going to make a large teardrop here, and also here. There we go. Now, they've got their little heads and the antenna. And then, this is going to be a monarch. So what I'm going to do is color along the inside border. Okay. Do the same thing to the lower part of our butterfly. All right. Okay. Now, we're going to take our eraser. And we're just going to erase off those tips of the triangles. Just smooth them out a little bit. All right? You see how this is coming out? Okay. Now here's an idea you might not have thought of. Monarch is black and yellow, but also white. And it's usually the ends of the top wings. So I have a Q-tip and all I'm going to do is pull marker up from the edges of the wings. Just pulling marker, black marker off of it. All right, see how this is working? Okay, that's looking pretty good. The next thing I'm going to do is color this butterfly yellow because I did tell you it is a monarch and they are black and yellow. Very beautiful. Okay, did the whole thing there. There we go. There's our monarch. There's only one thing left to do and that's to make some pretty veins a pattern on the yellow area. All right, I'm just making a pattern. Just random. That means however you feel like doing it. Okay? Now, is this looking like a monarch butterfly? It sure is. Hey. Did you think it was going to be this easy? 
It is. Okay. Well, we got our first one almost done. And then we're going to do the second one. And the second one has already flown to the grass, bush, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to make that bush a little thicker and stronger to hold the butterfly. Okay. This time, I am just going to take a triangle like so. And one teardrop shape. Make the body a long skinny oval and color it in. The head, the antenna. All right, then I color the inside edges black, like we did with the other one, like so. And then I take our eraser, soften the edges right there. It's not a triangle anymore, it's a soft triangle. Next we do the yellow. Color that in. Next thing we want to do is take our Q-tip and pull off some of the black like that. And the very last thing we want to do is make a little pattern inside the wings. All right. Just any little pattern will do. See that? Well, would you look at that? We've drawn two very pretty butterflies. Did you enjoy that? They're pretty too, aren't they? Surprised myself. Well, as long as you know the shapes and you follow along with me, you're going to surprise yourself too. Okay, so I'll see you next time. Bye from Anna.